Good day. Today I'm going to perform tepid sponge bathing to an adult. And the purpose of the tepid sponge bathing is to reduce the fever of the patient. And for the assessment, assess a patient's visual sapos ability to sit down without support, assess for presence of equipment, assess patient's bathing preferences, ask patients if there is any problems related to condition of skin and genitalia and then assess condition of the patient's skin assess the patient's knowledge of skin hygiene the delegation consideration for tepid sponge bathing are to avoid massaging the reddened skin area to report impaired skin integrity redness of, of pale skin and then to properly position the musculoskeletal limitation in dwelling catheters and or intravenous um, patients with fatigue and shortness of breath and pain during hygiene case and, and the needed equipment for tepid sponge bathing are basin pitcher with cold water and pitcher with filled hot water rubber sheet bath blanket, washcloth, six pieces, bath towel, and thermometer, also glove. Implementation. Procedure. Check the chart of the patient. Introduce yourself and identify the client. Can I ask what's your name? Eric Sonia Berlardo. Um, I'm Jennifer Mendoza. Okay, I'm going to explain the procedures. Gather necessary equipment. Perform hand hygiene. Make sure the bed wheels are locked. Adjust bed to a comfortable working height. Raise side rails. Close curtains around the bed or door. Provide privacy. Take the temperature or vital signs. Determine the patient's usual state baseline data. Apply clean gloves to prevent transmission of microorganism. Loosen and change the top sheet with bath blanket and set aside the top sheet if it is to be used again. Make sure the linen easier to remove and, and prevent of microorganisms transmission. Put some cold water inside the basin and then mix it with the hot water. Lower side rails near you. Remove the client's gown. If with IV tubing, remove first with an IV line, then the other arm with IV line. To have an easy access on the body parts to be clean, manipulation of IV tubing and container may disrupt flow rate. Place a bath towel Number 18. Apply the salt washcloth to axilla and groin without exposing the patient's private part. Targets large superficial areas to reduce fever.
Pat the washcloth on face. Merin washcloth from inner to outer cantos of the eye, then forehead, cheeks, and nose. Promote a decrease in temperature within the desired time. Wash the near arm with gentle strokes from distal to proximal areas, then to axilla. Pat and dry. Towel prevents soiling of the bed. Wash the chest area from inner nipple to outer and the skin under breast. Pat and dry. Clean the cleanest to dirtiest draping prevents to expose private body parts. Wash the abdomen from side to side with mitten washcloth, pat and dry. Towel maintains warmth and privacy. Place bath towel under the near leg to the nurse. Wash the near leg from ankle to knee and knee to thigh without exposing the private part. Towel prevents soiling bed linens and providing privacy prevents patients from anxiety. 33. Remove the washcloth from the groin and axilla. and assists patient with dressing to cover the patient and privacy. Position the patient on the side lying. Place a bath towel lengthwise along the patient's side and keep him covered with bath blanket. Expose his back and buttocks for bathing while limiting exposure. Wash from back and buttocks and anus. Bat and dry. Cleaning buttocks in anus after but prevents water contamination. Google the report to back on your region. Because then you want to to me. Clear replace a top sheet. Adjust height of the bed to the lowest position. Maintain the patient's safety. Perform hand hygiene after leaving the room. Reduces the transmission of microorganisms. 